those are simple shapes and patterns I like to practice and perform. So uh, the one I was thinking about, we've been through these a few times, but the one I was thinking was that shape. It's a, a G and an E, kind of like part of an A7 chord. Reminds me of an ACDC song. That's pretty hot, you know, when you're uh, soloing on A. Some of the other shapes, just to get us kind of in the zone, would be fifth fret, first and second strings. Pretty common. I like to add this thing here. That's a C and an F sharp. It's a little sour, but when you resolve back to the uh, double fives. Kind of a cliche, we use that all the time. The other, okay, so getting up to the shape I was kind of getting at there, it's a nine and an eight. Nine is on the third string, eight is on the second string. Whatever fingers you want to use is probably okay. Let's see what I do without thinking about it. Looks like I like uh, ring and middle. I might smoosh back and forth on the double sevens and double fives on the second and third strings. Always a lot of hum on that guitar, isn't it? Oh, I made a mistake. I like it. So I got double eights, double sevens, double fives. You can also bend the double sevens. That's groovy. You got your good old AGA. -A. I kind of like smooshing it down double sevens to double fives. Did I already say that? Probably first and second strings similar. You could uh, just go down the row. When you get to the third string, fifth fret, I like to roll it towards the floor just a little bit. You don't wanna go, unless you do. But I like, very subtle bend there. You can kind of smoosh the double uh, fives. Kind of a nasty, uh, mean sounding. You can also bend the double sevens. <laughs> so it's really a gold mine. Good old A minor pentatonic. Check out this noise. All right, man. It's probably because I'm too close to the computer or something. I'm running through that uh, Universal Audio Dream 65 reverb amp. It's a DI thing. Probably too much electronic equipment all close. But, uh, you know, you get the idea. You get to a point where that hum and buzz, you're like, Sounds like rock and roll to me. No big deal. Uh, so a little bit of hum and buzz is good for you. All right, work on those flat shapes and groovy shapes if you feel like it. I think it's cool. You can do it in any key also. Move it up a half step. 
you're in the key of B flat, same geometry. So once you learn a lick, be sure to move it up and down the neck into other keys. And uh, happy rocking, man. Thanks.